Hi and welcome to an easy cam turn mill demonstration where we're going to machine this part as a forging. Let's bring it right into easy cam. Now we'll open our custom stock. It's an STL file. That's a closed solid body. It's required for simulation in easy cam. Upper right hand corner we're going to load it as stock. I have to rotate the model, so we'll go to Edit, Rotate Z. That'll be 45 degrees. Front view, you can see that we have to shift it just a little bit, so we'll go to Translate. A Z of positive 75 thousandths. Now we're ready to establish our stock. 3D simulation. Pick a part material. EasyCam has templates for each material because you're going to machine it a little bit different for each one. I'll choose aluminum. It'll load all of my tools in my library and with their cutting strategies. If I hit compute, it gives me the length of the part and the diameter. I'm going to move our coordinate system, the subspindle, to the back side of the part. If you're flipping it over manually, you'll also use the subspindle coordinate system. Now we're ready to start machining, so let's go to three-quarter view so I can see my part. We'll begin by facing the right end. This gives me a preview of the tool itself and the machining strategies. I'm going to accept that. Now for our boundaries, just want to machine off the front face, so I'll just pick that. Outer inner, I want my machining to start at the top of the forging. Show tool. Alright, that operation is done and machine the way I want it, uh, feed speeds and everything included. Now we'll machine the OD of the part. That's a profile. Let's say I change a couple things about our tool, such as tool 2, offset 2, and this insert can handle a maximum depth of 300 thousandths. If I hit save as default, hitting OK will override that tool. If not, I rename it and I get a different tool. Now our depth, uh, we're going to cut 30 thousandths deep with a total stock of 70 thousandths. You can see in the upper graphic here that we're offset the part geometry by 70 thousandths. See what EasyCam comes up with with feature recognition. Knows it can handle all of this machining with that tool. Gives me three passes. Look at the simulation. Now we'll move on to threads. We'll select the 60 degree tool. If my lead and my depth are zero, EasyCam will extract that data off of the threads that are part of the part. Let's just hide stock. And you can see we're going to get that information right here from the solid model. We'll set up our boundaries. And verify. Okay, you can see that we went a little bit far. We went into the part. Uh, so that's, that's our ending clearance and we want to start off the face. So we'll just go in here. 200 off the face, stop directly on our left boundary. Rather than preview what we just looked at, I'm just going to right click on the thread work step and simulate. Now we're ready for a milling operation 
and we have a radius in the corner so we'll be mindful of that I'm going to switch over our coordinate system down below you can see we have UCS world that's our status bar I'm just going to click on that change over to the face skew it a little bit go to mill turn curve milling go to advanced tool this will be a bull nose tool number offset number corner radius We'll remove the depth. We'll let EasyCam extract that off the surfaces we select. Face left, left meaning the main chuck. And our coordinate system. Now you can check uh, Y axis. It's as easy as that to go from a rotary axis to the Y axis. I'll go machining, select cut surfaces, that face. And the bottom face, we're machining to this face here. Just go back to the world coordinate system. There. Makes it easier to look at the part. And we'll just right click and simulate from here. Now we're ready to do the subspindle work. Again, with changing the coordinate system. And the machining is going to be similar to what we did on the main chuck. We'll go midway, outer, inner, Let's take a look at that. Now we'll mill around the outside and we'll drill our holes and we'll be done. This will be face right, right being the subspindle. Now when we select our surfaces see the one there that smart click if I click on one surface connects them all together to make up that operation and lastly the holes uh, let's just okay that let's double click on the hole the value is 495 That was copied to the clipboard. I'll just paste that right here, 495. Let's go to Advanced Tool, set it up as a drill, give it a tip angle so we get the additional depth. Still working on the side right, I'm sorry, face right.
Now with Smart Click, if I click on one hole, EasyCam finds all the holes of the same diameter. Let's switch back over to the world. Take a look at all of our machining. Alright, well that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching.